We were just talking about your amendment uh, related to the marriage uh, disrespect for marriage act. Uh, tell us about why you see this as uh, necessary to address the deficiencies in the, this bill when it comes to religious freedom. Well, y'all were just talking about it, uh, the actual text of the uh, underlying legislation that came out of the Senate, despite what 12 Republicans uh, bought into, will not protect religious liberty. It just won't. Um, to the extent that it does protect religious liberty, it is so narrow in its application uh, that it, it leaves everybody else dangling under the false pretense of being protected. Now, what do I mean by that? There was language in there in one of the sections that gets to the heart of churches, religious organizations, and so forth, forth that supposedly get protected. In fact, my colleague Jamie Raskin was just touting how this was some great compromise and how the founders envisioned it all. Well, pause for a second. When they jammed it through the House with no House Judiciary Committee hearing in July, on July 19th, they jammed it through without any religious liberty protections. It goes over to the Senate. They've been debating it now for a couple of months. They finally add in some religious liberty protections now to the point they're half measures. They only protect the solemnization. That is the act of these religious organizations to actually perform the ceremony or engage in the solemn act of the marriage. Not, for example, hiring practices, not, for example, if you uh, maybe you're running an uh, adoption organization or maybe you're a private Christian school. No, no, that's not what they're protecting. So it, call, it falls way short. They just killed it in the Rules Committee on a technical budget violation, which frankly wasn't even accurate in my view, and I refuted it, and they just ignored it. Um, you know, it's amazing to me because I've seen some suggest that this is a solution to a problem, this uh, disrespect for marriage act. They're creating the problem. Uh, th there was, they're saying, that, well, this is going to protect religious freedom. No, you're creating a problem for religious freedom. You're not addressing anything. This is a, this is a, a solution in search of a problem. A yeah, problem the bill in search actually, of a solution, I should say. Yeah, the bill actually creates a cause of action. It gives the power to go after people for carrying out their closely held religious beliefs. That's the problem, right? You're giving. You, it's like you got a guy out there and he's sitting there with a shield, and that shield is the Constitution. That shield is RIFRA, Religious Freedom Restoration Act. And now he's got, you know, that's Bob. He's got the shield. Sam's over there, and he's just staring at him. He's going, oh, I got the shield. Now they go give Sam a sword. And then they go, oh, oh, congratulations, Bob, for still having your shield. Right. It's like, no, you just gave them the sword right. to come after me with. And that's what's happening in real time, as we saw at the Supreme Court today.